Here's how to restore tax returns using a backup in Crosslink 1040. Starting at the work in progress summary, click the utility menu and then click restore backup returns. If you encounter an incorrect AES key message during this process, please stick around. I'll discuss how to resolve that issue near the end of this video. But for now, let's continue on with the demonstration. Once you click Restore Backup Returns, the Backup File Contents window will appear and display the backed up tax returns found in your program's backup path. The backup path is where you selected to save your backup files. You can view and modify the backup path by clicking the Setup menu, Office Setup, and then click the Defaults tab. If you want to restore tax returns saved somewhere other than the program's default backup path, click the Browse button. That's the button with the ellipsis to the right of the Backup Path field. From here, navigate to the location of your backup files. In my case, I want to restore the tax returns saved in the default backup path, so I'll return to the previous window. The List Returns drop-down box allows you to view your tax returns in one of the following three ways. The first, Show All, displays all of the tax returns saved in the backup path, including different copies of the same tax return if it's been backed up multiple times. Show Most Recent will only display the most recently backed up version of each tax return. Older versions of tax returns will not display, like in the case of the Show All option. Show Recent over DIR, short for directory, will display a list of the most recently backed up tax returns that no longer appear in the current crosslink directory. This option is very rarely used and is mostly needed to address very specific technical issues. In most cases, the Show All and Show Most Recent options are the ones you'll be using to restore your tax returns. In my case, I'm only interested in restoring the most recent copy of each tax return. You can select to restore tax returns individually, or you can click the Select All button. Once you've selected the tax returns you want to restore, click the Restore button. If a tax return being restored already exists in the Crosslink 1040 program, you'll be prompted to select whether you want the existing tax return replaced. If desired, click Yes to overwrite the existing tax return with the backed up tax return, click No to keep the existing return, or click All to overwrite all existing returns with the backed up tax returns. The Retrieve window will confirm that your tax returns have been restored. Now, regarding the incorrect AES key message, this error message will appear if you're attempting to restore using a backup file created on a Crosslink 1040 program with a different enhanced encryption password than the one you're on now. This message will appear if you're trying to restore tax returns from a different tax office with a different user ID, or if you've changed the program's enhanced encryption password after the backup file was created. If you encounter this message, you will need to type the enhanced encryption password using the program that originally created the backup file. This enhanced encryption password is created during the initial setup process of the program, and unless changed, it's set to be the same as your transmission password associated with your user ID or blank. If you don't remember the enhanced encryption password you entered, please contact us for help.